All right, I just got a notification that there's a new software update. Now, I might be late, but it's okay. I've already downloaded the software through my phone, but my phone is dying. So let's check the car and see what the software is all about and install it. All right, so here's a new update. This is version 2022.4.5.3. We're going to install this and we're gonna come back and check on it later and see what this update is all about. Let's go ahead and install. Now we're just gonna leave the car and wait. All right, it seems like updates has been installed. Let's check this out and see what we have here today. Okay, let's see what's the update. We're not going anywhere, so. All right, so this is version 2022.4.5.3. And we have four improvements. Let's see. The first one is regen braking in autopilot. So that pretty much says autopilots will now use more regen braking at low speeds for higher efficiency and an improved driving experience, especially in stop and go traffic. Increased use of regen braking results in less brake pedal noise and smoother stops. Yep. All right, so pretty much when your car stops, when you're on autopilot, it gives you a uh, better regen braking and better experience on one pedal driving. That's pretty much what that is saying. And uh, the next update is the car colorizer. So I'd already had that in the previous update, but let's see what's the difference here. So customize how your car appears on the touchscreen and mobile app with the car colorizer. Change the color of your car's exterior by tapping control software colorizer icon or using colorizer in the tall box so the first option is pretty much going to your car here which is where your controls are and go down to software and this is the colorizer over here that's the icon that pretty much lets you design how your car is i will do that later on my car is on full stop ppf so i'm going to adjust this a little bit to mimic the matte finish just like that but right now it's on metallic because the car original color is midnight silver metallic so i guess that defaults on that so we are going to adjust this to matte actually just add that here and we're going to go to matte finish that way and yeah just like that, that simple. If you have a different color, you can change it however you want it, and that reflects on your car, and you just add that over here. Anyway, all right, next, let's see what the next improvement is, which is windshield wiper defrost, cold weather improvement. Um, people in the Northeast, uh, on the Eastern area, definitely we need this. <laughs> I know definitely I need this, uh, even though we haven't had enough snow lately, but this, is very very important and i like this improvement and let's see what the release note says it says clear snow and ice from your wiper blades by turning on windshield wiper defrost for improved visibility to enable tap the wiper defrost icon in the climate control pop-up wiper defrost will automatically turn off after 30 minutes and will only activate when temperature drops below 50 degrees fahrenheit or 10 degrees celsius when enabled that is very, very important. I know I need this. I know many people will agree with me with this, especially if you live in the Northeast area, the DMV area, you know, the New York area. Wherever you get cold weather or snow, you definitely will appreciate this. All right, so let's see the other updates. Last but not least is save dash cam clips. And the release note says, quickly save dash cam clips by adding the dash cam icon to the bottom bar. Simply long press and hold icon to enter edit mode, then drag dash cam to the bottom bar for quick access. Tap the dash cam icon to manually save a clip while driving. Now, there are several ways for you to save your dash cam clips. I guess since people were complaining about the new interface and where some of the icons are, Tesla has decided to create this for quick access at the bottom. But there are several ways uh, to save your dash cam clips. And one that I really like is actually by pressing and holding your mic button and pretty much telling the car a command. For example, save that. So that will automatically save your dash cam clip right there by saying that. Or there's a there's a even vulgar way, which I wouldn't advise you to use if you have kids in the car. Let me go ahead and try that one for you. <laughs> Just for fun's sake save that shit 
<laughs> that also helps you save your dash cam clips. But easily saying save that will we we'll do it. And of course, automatically, if there's any collision, the car will automatically save your last, I guess, few seconds clips. So that is a good addition to it. But pretty much what they were saying is you press this button here and your dash cam is right here. You can hold it and just simply drag it down here. Simple as that. That will place it down there. And once you're done, just tap anywhere that saves down there. So it doesn't move. It doesn't go anywhere. Your most recent uh, app will pop up here. And these will be your static or whatever custom icons that you place down there. Now you can easily remove them by holding there and tapping on them just like that and hitting the X. That will automatically take it off. I like my camera icon with the dash cam clips. I can always use the voice control or voice command that would save it for me. So I don't really care too much about that. So I'll put back my camera because I need that when I enter my garage or when I back up. Easy, you know, quick access to that. That lets me see my rear view camera. All right, guys. So that's the updates that we just received. I think uh, these are some good updates. And uh, we'll definitely see how these work as we drive this vehicle. And uh, thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please, please subscribe to this channel. Like this video and share with your friends. Again, I really appreciate you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.